For a lot of people, biotechnology, um, cloning, genomics, these all seem like quite remote issues that don't necessarily impact on our everyday lives. Why is this an area that we should all be interested in? You know, the reason we're rich is because we learn stuff. So we learned how to paint on cave walls, then we learned how to do hieroglyphs, then we learned how to do ABCs. And recently, over the last 30 years, we've generated most of the wealth that we have by writing in ones and zeros, which collapsed every language in the world, which collapsed every word written and spoken, and every bit of music, and every photograph, and every film, and every image. And as you think of the implications of being able to use and apply knowledge, it's this little change in language that has really driven, well, about two-thirds of the global economy today, which is knowledge. We're now entering a third phase, or a fourth phase, where what's going to be the biggest single driver of the global economy is the ability to understand and code life forms. And one of the stages of that is an area called genomics, which is just understanding in what order are the four base pairs that code DNA, life, adenine, theanine, guanine, cytosine, how are they written? What do they make? Do they make an orange? Do they make a mosquito? Do they make a human being? So what we're talking about is a fundamental shift in, in language, basically. And you know, if you could imagine the 1960s, if I'd come out to an HSM meeting and said, look, the biggest single driver of every business in this room are going to be these computer geeks that are sitting back here with these huge machines and vacuum tubes, million dollar machines, probably most of the people in that room would have said, you know, I'm in real estate, or I'm in insurance, or I'm in agriculture, or I'm in sports, or I'm in textiles. But you know what? Every one of those businesses has had to go either digital or has gone out of business. And something similar is going to happen with coding life. We're going to start beginning to understand how you code life, how you make stuff, and that's going to change medicine and energy and chemicals and insurance and real estate and virtually every business on this planet.